Hello all and welcome to episode number nine of Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Ryan McQueenie. I'm a content writer here at Zach's and I am obsessed with all things tech. As a reminder, Tech Talk Tuesday is our exclusive show for all the other tech-obsessed investors out there. On this week's episode, we're going to be talking about what could quite possibly be the most talked about acquisition of the year. That's right, we're going to be talking about Amazon's $13.7 billion buyout of organic grocery chain Whole Foods. The announcement of the deal sent shockwaves throughout Wall Street on Friday, and it will surely have lasting consequences for customers of both companies in the coming years. This is just one of those classic, you had to have been living under a rock to have missed it types of announcements. And to get some details out of the way first, as mentioned, the deal is worth about $13.7 billion. That's $42 per Whole Foods share, which represents a 27% premium to the company's closing price on Thursday. The deal is expected to close in the second half of the year per Amazon's official press release. But interestingly enough, Whole Foods shares have crept above that $42 per share line. People speculate about a possible second bidder. But let's go ahead, for the purposes of this episode, let's go ahead and assume Amazon does take over Whole Foods, and let's assume the deal closes in the second half without much regulatory trouble. Remember, this is a tech show, so I want to focus on the tech angle of this. What could Amazon do with Whole Foods from a tech standpoint? In other words, what kind of tech does Amazon bring Whole Foods and could it help the grocery shopping experience? Of course, the deal makes a ton of sense for Amazon from a distribution standpoint. Fresh groceries are something that is somewhat lacking in Amazon's plethora of prime offerings right now. And these Whole Foods stores not only offer that food, but they're also conveniently located to Amazon's target audience. But let's get back to our questions. Could we see Amazon technology implemented into Whole Foods' in-store experience? To answer this, let's look at one of Amazon's existing brick-and-mortar concepts. Much has been said about the recent openings of several Amazon bookstores, but what do we know about Amazon Go, the company's revolutionary new shopping idea? Amazon Go is a concept that centers around, quote, checkout free shopping. According to the company's own website, Amazon Go is made possible by, quote, the same types of technologies used in self-driving cars, computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning, end quote. This is exactly why this deal can come up on a show like Tech Talk Tuesday. We're seeing some buzzwords in there that any tech-obsessed investor is going to be interested in. And, you know, it raises an eyebrow enough that I think we should dig into it a little bit deeper. Check out free as a name for the experience is no joke. You literally grab items off the shelves and they are kept track of in a virtual shopping cart. You walk out the door and just sometime later you are charged on your Amazon account. Literally all you need is an Amazon account, the accompanying Amazon Go application, and a supported smartphone. So currently Amazon is beta testing this idea in an 18,000 square foot Amazon Go store. It's only available for Amazon employees right now, and that store is currently in Seattle. According to their site, they do have plans to eventually open it to the public, but currently being beta tested by employees only. Obviously, there's a lot to dissect with that, the fact that this exists, and then the fact that Amazon makes a major grocery acquisition. And I'm not saying that checkout free shopping is coming to Whole Foods near you anytime soon, but this is something we really can't ignore. Amazon just bought a massive grocery chain, and it's already presented us with some new ideas about what grocery shopping could look like in the future. And uh, I did want to hone in on those things that it said powers this checkout free shopping idea. Computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning. This type of technology can be effectively implemented in stores to improve efficiency, track shopping behavior, and reduce losses, even without a full-blown adoption of checkout free shopping. I mean... Just think about kind of the ways that sensor fusion can be implemented to reduce, you know, theft losses. Think about how these deep learning techniques can be implemented to study store layout efficiency and design. I'm really personally fascinated by this idea of deep learning being brought into this conversation because we know that Amazon was one of our industry leaders in AI research. And it's clear that the company is digging into the latest learning technology to parse through the massive amount of data that it has about its customers. 
So set aside all the ways Amazon can implement things into Whole Foods and think about what this data could mean overall for the Amazon experience. So the company that knows nearly everything about its users is learning one more thing, their grocery shopping behavior. Amazon is now going to know whether you prefer 2% or whole milk, whether you eat gluten-free or vegan, and how often you splurge on that matcha shot in your coffee. Now, exactly what is done with that data isn't necessarily my expertise, but optimizing and individualizing the Amazon experience has clearly been a foundation of Amazon's business model for the last several years, and I happen to think it's working. That's just my perspective on things. What do you think? Are you okay with checkout free shopping? Is Amazon learning what you buy from Whole Foods awesome or terrifying? Are you ready for the Jeff Bezos-led takeover of the world? Shoot us an email at podcast.zax.com. You can also check out all of our other exclusive audio content at zax.com slash podcasts. Please remember to subscribe and leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts if you enjoyed the show. Thanks again for joining us, and we will see you next time on the Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday.